on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. <laughs> so they sent you after me. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? I gotta say, this is one of the weirdest birthdays I ever had. So, how's he doing here? I'm not gonna lie, he is... He's still very young, but he's taking to our lessons very well. What about his quirks? Hmm. After some thorough testing, we conclude that they are telekinesis and pyrokinesis. Very strong quirks. Very useful in our line of work. Hmm. Are you certain he should be going through with the modifications? Yeah, definitely. Very well. As for who shall be thoroughly training him, he's expressed a very uh, unique desire to have you. <laughs> I have no time to be babysitting a kid. Well, according to him, you're the closest thing he has to family. <laughs> I, I don't really have much need for a family. We all need someone, sometimes. 47. Well, that's good for you, but I don't need some snot-nosed kid slowing me down. I can hear you. Does it sound like I care? Just... Spend time with the boy. He hasn't taught much to anyone after the incident. His parents' death. Uh, yeah. It was a big accident. He'll get over it without my help. You know, he wants to learn from the best. I'm just a number. Not to him. Well, he needs a different role model. If you say so. As yes, a four-year-old Izuku is pretty much training and undergoing several changes. Not just when it comes to training with his quirks. Also, body modifications. Things that make it so he has more endurance, more durability. If anything, loading him up with enough things that make him more efficient and hard to kill. But, he, uh, Still has some memories of his life before. The happy times he would have with Inko and Azashi. Until that car wreck that took both of them. But ever since he met 47, what? 
What do you mean there? It wasn't an accident. Your parents were a target. Who did it? I'm not at liberty to disclose that information. Uh, what if I become an assassin too? If you say gain more experience, maybe a following, people trusting you, owing you favors, perhaps. Then can you train me? No, but I know some people who can. <sighs> Come on, please train me. You have teachers. Yeah, but none of them are as good as you. How do you know that? Because there are legends about you. Hmm. Doesn't matter. No means no, Brett. So be such a jerk. I'm not. I'm being me. Trust me, there is a difference. That. <clears throat> I don't care if you growl. No one means no. How about this? If I can land a hit on you, you got to train me. Excuse me? Yeah. Fine. But no quirks. What? Yeah, guy. I know what you're thinking. You're going to use your telekinesis. To keep me still. At least still long enough so you can at least punch me with those tiny hands. <sighs> Why can't I use my quirk? Because then you become too reliant on it. Uh, but isn't the point of having a quirk? No. Having a quirk is nice and all, but... If you become too reliant on it, your other skills become sloppy, useless. You'll be as good as dead, like mommy and daddy. <laughs> what? Did I strike a nerve? <sighs> Maybe a little. Good. Remember that feeling. You can't... You can't risk losing your head in the middle of a job. No matter who it is. No matter what you're doing. If you don't remain in control, it could get you and whoever decides to be stupid enough to follow you killed. Then you'll be right where your parents are in the dirt. I'm not going to call on you. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. If you can, at least lay a punch on me. Ready? Uh, Zuku is hella ready, but nowhere near strong enough, fast enough, or skilled enough to even get so much as a love tap or a finger on 47. So he pretty much goes to sleep with a bunch of broken uh, ribs, you could say, bruises, cuts. I'm mad as all hell, but so, if, he, if I want him as a teacher, I very, I very toughen up. And this carries on up until when he's ten, and he's very pissed. He's wondering what is he doing wrong? What 
could he possibly be missing until he's what if I let him hit me? Hmm. I mean he's been doing it so many times before. As soon as he challenges 47 again and the punch connects, Izuku spins and punches him right in the arm, declaring him, finally, after so long, the winner. <laughs> Was that a laugh? No. <sighs> Alright. Deal's a deal. So, what do you want to learn first? How to shoot? Mm, no. What? Guns are useful tools, but they can be loud. The silencer. Silencers can also hinder your weapon. Guns also jam. They need to be cleaned. You gotta make sure you count bullets just in case you do end up in a firefight. Bring extra mags. And if you do decide to get a revolver, carry extra bullets. What if I just have a speed loader? They bulk in your pocket and reveal how much ammo you got. Too much of a hassle. So what are you going to teach me? Hand and combat. Easy for a kid. Uh, you're serious? Hey, you wanted me to teach you. You didn't say which methods to actually use. So I'm choosing mine. Come on. But, no buts. Yes, sir. Good. As, yeah, it's two years of hand to hand combat training mixed in with some uh, knife proficiency. But Izuku isn't going to use a gun until he's at least 15. Which, yeah, thanks to his training modifications. He is a good shot. Only thing is, with his quirk, he's still a little overconfident. So, what's 47 to do? Besides, completely and utterly humbleize the boy. <laughs> what, you, you want me to fight you? With my quirks. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Of course. You think you're hot as shit because of your quirks. Despite all the training you've done, you which you have made progress. But you're still uh overconfident, which needs to be fixed. Or else you're just going to get yourself killed. Uh, I think I've earned my confidence. Don't question my methods. Now come at me. As Zuku, he starts bringing fire. It's... I win. You're dead. Wait, what? As... Yeah, there's a splotch of paint on Izuku's chest. Wait, how did... Be grateful. Uh, wait, how? Hmm. Though you have pyrokinesis and telekinesis, it takes a second or two to actually activate. You're not faster than the speed of sound, speed of light. You're not sure as hell... Or as fast as a speeding bullet. And that fire of yours. It sure as hell ain't strong enough to melt it. 
Well, what if I just use my telekin? Are you strong enough to stop a bullet flying straight towards you? Are you quick enough? Oh, wait. I already said you weren't. So, you still want to start uh, boasting about that quirk of yours. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to yourself. Because if that was a real bullet, that would have killed you. If you want to avenge your parents, you're going to be better. Smarter. Yes, sir. Good. Now, let's try again. Wait, are, are you sure? <sighs> Don't question your teacher boy. Trust me. When I'm tired of teaching you, then we'll be done. Well, at least. We'll see what happens first between you graduating my uh, curriculum and uh, you getting on my nerves enough. Now, let's work on that fire of yours. How hot can you actually make it? As, yeah, another year goes by. And Zuku, he's pretty much gotten more and more used to Agent 47's teaching methods. The only thing is, like, he, he's not one to really indulge in small talk. Let alone be a supportive emotional anchor. But, when it comes to teaching Izuku how to fight, kill, he's a pretty good one. Alright, time for your final lesson. Um, okay. You're gonna kill something. Well, at least, someone. What? <sighs> Here. Read everything and memorize everything in this envelope. Then, burn it. You will see your target and the client's desired method to exterminate them. Wait, what? Yes. But I don't... <sighs> you want to be a killer. Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. I... Well... I, uh, I just didn't think it would be so soon, I, listen, I know, killing for a first time can be difficult for someone so young, really, well, me, I was designed not to show such emotions, but you, <laughs> what's wrong, why you gotta keep reminding me how inferior I am, inferior, what makes you say that, well, I'm not as good at killing as you are, you think that makes you inferior to me? Yes, it's these feelings. I don't think it feels right to be able to take a life so easily. It shouldn't be. But everyone is capable of taking a life. Not everyone has the stomach for it. 
at first. But when they're pushed to a certain extreme, then you'll be surprised what someone is capable of. Trust me, I've seen it before, and I know you can do this.